Well, good afternoon, YouTubers, friends, and family from across the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew, daily events worldwide. And we are on August 9th, 2018. Welcome to another surviving day on this planet. Thank you for joining me today. We have got a busy, busy little video here for you today. And we're looking at NASA worldview images of British Columbia right now as over 150 fires are burning throughout the province. And yes, all across the West Coast right now, the California fires, Washington, Oregon fires, the fires in BC, you got to think what is going on on the West Coast? Are we having a huge shift, crustal movement underneath new volcanoes maybe? Man, oh man, what's going on? But look at this, we've got heat warnings all across the Western North America right up into parts of Manitoba and Saskatchewan. Temperatures will be reaching 38 degrees without the humidex. There's gonna be a lot of humidity with this next front as the smoke has been, will be pushed out into Alberta. And man, look at North America, South America, just riddled with disaster alerts from volcanoes and floods to extreme weather events such as hailstorms torrential downpours videos are popping up all over the place of these extreme weather events stay aware and prepared that's all i can say thank you as well for joining me and here we're looking at latest earthquake 5.6 south atlantic ocean kind of an odd place for an earthquake tropical storm debbie We also have, of course, fires in parts of Western Europe. A lot of fires in South Africa. Extreme cold in South Africa. I'll be showing you that soon. Monsoon rains producing a lot of flood warnings throughout the Indies and Malaysia. Tropical cyclone Shanshan Shan, still alive, six days hitting the coast of Japan right now. You've also got Tropical Storm Yagi, who is south moving into China, the South China Sea. And of course, Tropical Storm Hector, Hurricane Hector, still alive. After passing through just underneath Hawaii, Tropical Storm Christie, and Tropical Storm John, who's heading straight north now, which I thought would happen. But yeah, stay aware and prepared. The West Coast is on fire, and heat warnings air quality statements throughout Calgary and Alberta. We're going to go with our five day forecast around the globe brought to you by Meteor Earth and Meteor Mike. I'm just showing you here some of the temperatures in South Africa with this large low pressure system that is coming through. Now watch this. It dips right down in these mountainous regions to minus four. That's unheard of. Look at that. Nighttime temperatures not going above five, six degrees. Interesting, indeed. And those fires in Africa have been burning for months. It's a war-torn part of Africa in the Congo region. And over North America, Temperatures reaching up to 37 degrees Celsius in parts of Alberta and Saskatchewan. So heads up, heat warning, and also air quality warning with all the smoke from the fires in BC. Flood warnings across the southeastern United States still. And watch as this Colorado low develops right over Alberta and we'll bring some nasty thunderstorms later on in the week here in Calgary. 
very strong low pressure system bring down some cool air so with that convergence we will get some nasty extreme weather events most likely some large hailstorms again so stay aware and prepared and stay tuned to morning dew because i'm here for you <clears throat> posting my severe weather analysis from around the world in disaster alerts as they happen so here we're looking at the tropical storms their paths for the next five days and Jongdari, believe it or not is that large storm that just left uh, northern parts of Korea but all across the Pacific equatorial plain we've got tons of moisture popping up due to daily evaporation but particularly is this large low pressure system in the southern hemisphere that I wanted to show you as well this is a doozy boy oh boy I've shown you guys some large systems before but this is a little much and it just keeps getting bigger and bigger been following that for about a week and then a large low pressure system will come in from the north and just ramp it up so stay aware, Venezuela and parts of South America, Chile, Peru, as they will be having some large low pressure systems heading their way. There's also flood warnings and extreme weather event warnings in southeastern Australia and Tasmania. And same thing in between Africa and Australia is this large low pressure system in our southern hemisphere so there's two very very large weather systems spinning in our southern hemisphere stay aware and prepared it's the last 24 hours or sorry the last 12 hours for earthquakes just recently another one in Indonesia in this 5.0 Japan 5.0 in Russia across the Pacific Ocean Kilauea was still producing some action 4.4 recorded today and then this 5.6 in the South Atlantic Ocean boy oh boy 5.0 in the Scotia Sea too 4.9 in Rodriguez Mauritius so the Indian plate line Scotia plate line and the Atlantic Ocean is under a lot of pressure right now and same with our Western Ring of Fire I'm going to show you here the last seven days for earthquakes from around the world thanks for watching today this has been Mike with your morning dew daily events worldwide this is your look at the last seven days for earthquakes thanks for watching today this has been Mike with your morning dew Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun and get your morning dew. Thanks for watching. Enjoy these last few clips of some NASA worldview images. Bye bye.
you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family across the world.